All right, so I finally figured out how to pull the uh, uh, aircraft from the uh, game dump files. So the first aircraft I want to build is going to be the VF-1A. And since this is an in-game RIP file, or basically since this is a, the exact same file that's used in Utah Macross, this, this aircraft, this model here, has all the... Uh, all the parts needed to convert this thing into a Batroid or whatever the uh, robot version of the Valkyries are called. So basically, all the individual parts that are needed to convert this thing into a robot or the Batroid, like I said. Again, I don't know what it's actually properly called. So sorry to the fans out there. I'm still, unfortunately, somewhat new to the series. But uh, yeah. And thanks to that fact... This whole, this model right here is is able to be built out in sections, which makes building this thing so much more easier on me. So let me show you what I'm talking about. Uh, give me a second. Unfortunately, there's no way for me to do like a mass select on the mass select of objects in when I'm when I'm in this mode in Pepakura. So, uh, bad design, Pepper Crew devs, but overall, this program is a, is a nice piece, is a nice program. So, as you can tell, the whole nose cone is one little section. So, tomorrow I can just build this one nose cone section and be done for the day. Or if I feel like it and it didn't take as long as I, uh, as I initially anticipated, I can go on from there and I can build this section. And then maybe this section, and this section, which are the two little engine pods, build this, and this. If it, if it doesn't take as long as I thought, I could probably build, the, probably build this in one day. But I think it'll most likely, most likely I'll just end up building just a nose cone tomorrow. And of course, of course, I can go the next day and build this section. And then this section under, under the bottom. And then this piece right here. Which I can select right there. And of course I'm, I think I'm actually missing a piece. Which is actually this I think. Yeah. And, and it's basically, it basically goes on and on like that. Same thing with the little engine pods right here. They're, all, they're, all, they're their own individually 3D, uh, 3D model. That little back piece, whatever this is for, whatever this piece is called, individual section, and of course that's the, uh, of course right here is the uh, exhaust or the little uh, cone or whatever you call it. I mean, as, like I said, as as you can see, everything is individual, and of course thanks to this little X-ray, um, X-ray-like thing, you can even see other other 3D model in 3D parts. So basically, again, everything that make, uh, makes the aircraft what it is, is there. So like I said, if I could somehow figure out how to convert, how to make it to where this thing can be uh, fully transformable, I have that ability to do so. Now, I don't know if I'll actually be able to because I actually don't know how these aircraft transform, so I don't know how to uh, where exactly I mean like build joints or have some or have hinges or have a uh, rare earth magnets and stuff like that. And unfortunately, well, no, I I got then I'm pretty sure some. 3D, I'm pretty sure some rendering or some 3D model out there that can let me see how these things properly transform. But, uh, yeah, I mean, this thing, ha I have the ability, I can do that if I ever so chose. But the fact that I can, that I can build these, air that I can build this aircraft out in individual little sections day by day, instead of wearing myself out each day just by, like, by, like, building one whole piece here like this like I used to, just building out in little sections individually is going to make the building process so much more easier on me and so much more funner too. So, uh, yeah, in the next few days, expect me to expect to start seeing this, start seeing me post videos of this on my YouTube channel.
But I will end on this note. Um, the uh, guy that's been doing the pose, that did the pose for Mid May, he's also going to be posing uh, this version of Freya for me. So this will be the next uh, character I build. Because, of course, Freya is one of my favorite characters, and this is my personal favorite costume of hers, or dress, or whatever you call it. So, uh, yeah. I'm going to let him do his thing, and while he takes his time to pose uh, Freya, I'm going to take my I'm going to take that time to uh build the uh, VF uh 1A. Now with that said, the kill stream is about to start and it did start. So